Tornadoes are catastrophic, but also remarkable. Some of the most insane odds can occur in otherwise ordinary places due to the extreme winds. And today, we'll be investigating some of the events that were extremely rare. Starting off on Easter Sunday in 2020, when an extremely strong tornado struck a Georgia home. As the winds completely battered the house, instead of collapsing, the entire structure left the ground and slammed back down on an adjacent road. All in one piece, many windows were left unbroken and even overhead power cables remained attached through the ordeal, leaving the house with technically only minor damage. I'm not sure what the chances of that is, but it has to be about as lucky as winning the lottery. And that's not even the strangest one in this video. Like for instance, on April 20th, 1973, during the Ada, Oklahoma tornado, a record disc was picked up and frisbeed into a telephone pole. While already slightly strange, it gets crazier when you realize how fragile a record disc is. The tornado's winds must have accelerated the disc at such an extreme speed, it was able to pierce the wood without shattering. This isn't the only case though, as in other tornadoes, objects like paper, pieces of hay, and even playing cards can become literal missiles if traveling fast enough. Things become much more alarming, however, when the objects flying through the air are already hazardous. For instance, on March 31st, 2023, Sullivan, Indiana would be hit by a strong tornado. In a moment quite similar to the record disc, a much more fatal saw blade was thrown straight into a tree. And over a hundred years prior, a shovel became wedged inches into a tree trunk. If objects like these were to hit a person, the results would be pretty bad, and not to mention incredibly unlucky, or lucky, depends on how you look at it. But no single tornado made this as evident as the 2007 Greensburg, Kansas tornado. When the tornado struck, it was literally wider than the town itself, destroying about 95% of all structures. In the chaos, some very odd things occurred. This fork, for instance, was found sticking into the side of a tree after the kitchen where it used to be stored exploded as the tornado passed overhead. Bizarrely, this wasn't even the first time this had happened. Take a look at the exact same thing that occurred in a Texas tornado all the way back in 1987. But honestly, small objects can be thrown around quite easily. Something far more terrifying would be when a much larger object is thrown with even more ferocity, sometimes going straight through solid surfaces. This chair was found embedded inside a wall when the Joplin 2011 tornado accelerated it towards it at speeds nearing 200 miles per hour. Armchair enthusiasts on Reddit did rough calculations and found that the amount of pressure the chair had when it made impact could have been equivalent to the weight of over 11 houses stacked on top of a human. I don't know why they used that metric, but this wasn't the only rare occurrence that happened during this tornado, with an even more infamous photo being taken shortly after the tornado passed. This photo shows what appears to be a 2x4 plank of wood that has been driven straight into a concrete curb. You may be wondering how a piece of wood can pierce straight through solid concrete. I mean, surely this isn't possible. Many people thought this and set out to disprove the claim. A theory was presented claiming that the 2x4 actually went into a drainage hole made of PVC piping. So case closed. Well, not exactly. Locating where the original picture was taken brings us to this parking lot near a church that was destroyed. And by using street view imagery from before the tornado, the curb in question can be found here. A quick check reveals that no drainage hole is to be found, which leads me to the conclusion that the 2x4 truly must have pierced through the curb. This is a feat so rare and unbelievable that to this day, many still don't believe it was actually possible, leading credence to its claim as one of the rarest tornado occurrences ever. But even this may not be the craziest thing that's occurred in a tornado. This image of a hose pipe was taken in the midst of the damage, which implies it somehow went straight through a tree. Like the previous example, this is such a crazy and seemingly unreal piece of damage. Many people assumed there was more to this story. Perhaps the tree grew around the hose pipe. Maybe someone had drilled it through the tree as a joke. I mean, local interest in the spectacle appears to have only occurred after the tornado. So perhaps this was a consequence of the tornado's winds. Or maybe somebody was just trying to ride off of the tornadic hype. The legitimacy of the image is probably impossible to prove or disprove. But if it's real, this too could also be one of the rarest tornado occurrences ever. Everyone who has watched the movie Twister is well aware of the infamous flying cow scene. Although many people may just consider this typical Hollywood make-believe, they would be surprised to find out that real life can often be even more bizarre. In 1963, near the town of Iliopolis, Illinois, 
a herd of cows was lifted and subsequently placed down, alive and unharmed. In another incident in 1949, 13 cattle were carried a quarter of a mile by a different tornado, also without serious injury. Some people even reported hearing their moves while this they were in the air, recreating the well-known movie scene almost five decades before it was ever filmed. But cows aren't the only animals that have flown in tornadoes. In 1954, a dog was swept away by a tornado before turning to their owners over four hours later. And in 1912, a hen in a box was thrown 200 yards and survived. All these animals are crazy and might be making you think, what about a flying person? In 2006, Matt Suter was in his mobile home, unaware that a tornado was bearing down on him. As his home began to flip over, a lamp struck his head, knocking him completely unconscious. 10 minutes later, he regained consciousness and while lying in a field of debris, he realized his only injury was a cut to his head. He then realized that he had been thrown over 1,300 feet, awarding Matt with the Guinness World Record for the furthest anyone has ever been thrown by a tornado. In another extraordinary moment occurring in 1999, a 10-month-old baby was torn from their mother's arms by a violent tornado in Oklahoma. Luckily, she was found completely unharmed and covered in mud by Deputy Robert Jolly, over 100 feet from where she was lifted. Robert actually captured the incident on his dash cam, allowing the miracle story to actually become a symbol of hope for impacted Oklahoma residents. People and animals flying around a tornado seems crazy enough, but what about an entire house? All this sounds crazy, but remember that house from earlier? Well, on the same day, further to the west, another tornado struck near Bassfield, Mississippi. One home suffered major damage as the entire roof disappeared and furniture was shredded. The residents emerged from their shelter, however, to find a pound cake they had baked was completely untouched along with the fragile glass cake stand they had placed it on. This rare moment made it seem like the tornado selectively chose which parts of the house to damage, but in reality, the extremely random nature of the winds inside these storms means it's inevitable that some strange and selective events like this will eventually happen. Tornadoes obviously have insane winds inside of them. But a less talked about fact is the drop in pressure that tornadoes create, which essentially turns the funnel into a giant vacuum cleaner. This suction effect can cause some pretty rare and weird looking examples of tornado damage. For example, in 2011, after a tornado swept through the town of Smithville, someone took this photo. The decrease in pressure was so rapid and so strong that the curtains of this home were literally sucked up into a tiny gap between the wall and the ceiling. This is incredibly rare, but perhaps the most oddity-filled tornado in recorded history occurred on November 10, 1915. After dark, the town of Great Bend, Kansas would be struck by a tornado, killing 11 people. As dawn broke, sunlight revealed many strange occurrences. At one store, entire walls were blown down and scattered, while adjacent shelves and canned goods didn't even move an inch. An even more impressive occurrence than this was when a flour sack was found over 110 miles away from town. This perhaps holds the record for the furthest distance an object weighing over a pound has been thrown by a tornado. Or maybe it's just a record for how far a flour sack has been thrown, but I'm not sure. A bird refugee was also impacted, blowing dozens of ducks as far as 40 miles. And on the topic of birds, there is a well-known tornado legend that deserves to be mentioned in this video. On June 18th, 1939, after a tornado struck rural Minnesota, people arrived at the scene of the damage to find chickens that had been plucked of their feathers. This was not the first time this was ever observed, and it had long been thought that the high winds and low pressure in tornadoes were intense enough to completely remove the feathers of chicken. Experiments as far back as 1842 were performed to try and work out how strong winds needed to be to strip a chicken of its feathers. But since it was 1842, results remained inconclusive. It was only in 1965 when a study by A. Van Gogh provided the much more likely explanation that the defeathering was caused by a stress response of chickens called flight molt, finally dispelling the rumor. Or hey, I like to believe it super rarely decided just to pluck the feathers off the chickens. While tornadoes are chaotic in nature, most of the time they travel in a roughly straight line to the northeast. But in rare cases, some tornadoes can begin to behave very erratically. Canada saw a small but powerful tornado in 2007 as it struck the town of Eli, Manitoba. This tornado made a very unique and rare path as it looped and zigzagged through farmland and residential areas, creating this weird path. But the most crazy thing to me is that it looped around a grain mill, hitting it twice. 
Then, as it approached the town itself, it looped again, basically wobbling over homes and then lifting them hundreds of feet into the air. This tornado is also very unique as it's actually considered Canada's strongest ever tornado, being given the only level 5 rating on the F scale, which goes from 0 to 5. Similar to Eli, there's the 2008 Windsor, Colorado tornado. This tornado's existence is already quite a rare occurrence, as it touched down at about 11.25 a.m. Why is this weird? Well, the vast majority of tornadoes occur from mid-afternoon to nighttime, with morning tornadoes being quite a rare occurrence, especially powerful ones. But while this tornado was already an immediate exception, in addition to this, the tornado touched down in an area that rarely ever sees tornadoes. This close to the Rocky Mountains, the conditions for a tornado are almost never present, making this tornado even more rare. But to add a cherry to the top of this baffling cake, the tornado moved in a completely unconventional direction. Usually, tornadoes move in a north to east direction. This tornado moved to the northwest, completely defying the norm. But this is still not the weirdest tornado behavior we've ever observed. That designation perhaps belongs to the 1980 Grand Island, Nebraska tornado family. This event is perhaps one of the most rare, bizarre, and confusing occurrences in recorded tornado history. Seven tornadoes struck the city during the night, beginning with first just northwest of town. Aside from moving in an unconventional southeasterly direction, the tornado also did many loops and zigzags as it traveled across the ground. Before this tornado even lifted, more tornadoes began to touch down. Aside from also having crazy damage paths, these tornadoes had another weird feature. You see, in the USA, most tornadoes spin anti-clockwise or cyclonically. The new tornadoes that were touching down were spinning in basically the wrong direction or anti-cyclonically. Three anti-cyclonic tornadoes touched down damaging many structures in town as they moved erratically around one another. Shortly after these three tornadoes dissipated, another three tornadoes would touch inside town, albeit these three were all rotating cyclonically. The biggest of the three made a large curve west and south, completely opposing traditional tornado motion, ravaging the southern part of the town. After the storm passed, it was discovered that seven different tornadoes, including three anticyclonic tornadoes, had impacted the city killing five people. The paths were assessed by researchers in great detail, allowing them to illustrate the incredibly bizarre nature of the tornadoes that occurred. The insanity of the night prompted locals to dub it the Night of the Twisters. Many say this event could be considered the rarest occurrence in tornado history. Although it's a very subjective topic, the complete disregard for convention that occurred that night presents it as probably the strongest contender for the title of the most unique tornado event. Anyways, do you agree? Or was there something else in here that was even rarer? Thank you for watching. And also, if you want to see bonus content and help support me, you should consider becoming a member of the channel. You just have to click the little join button and it's only $5. Anyways, thank you so much for watching.